yeah, I think that a lot of times we see these kind of desk setup tours and they're perfect. And, you know, we start to feel like we're not perfect ourselves. And so I just kind of wanted to put a more realistic, practical spin on these desk setups because you can clean them uh, for a video, but just an hour after or a couple hours after the next day, they'll just kind of get back to uh, not being as super clean as when it was originally filmed. So Okay, so let's just get straight into this. Yeah, this uh, headset that I got, I guess we'll start on the left side. This is a HyperX um, Cloud, I think it's the Alpha. Uh, the key thing about this headset is that it is wired. So I prefer the quality of the wired headsets over Bluetooth. Sometimes with the Bluetooth headsets, there's some distortion. Uh, this headset comes with a mic and this puff thing that you can detach. You can see the microphones right in there. Uh, it's pretty good quality. I've had this for a couple of years and um, I haven't changed it since. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, the next thing as far as the audio category goes, I have these uh, PreSonus um, studio monitors. I got them both on both sides right here. How I position them is um, essentially so that you get the best sound quality. Uh, so I kind of follow the instructions here to make sure that left and right are equidistant from each other so you don't get uh, any imbalances uh, but yeah they're you know kind of uh, not super expensive I think I got these on Amazon for uh, at the time like around a hundred bucks uh, and the cool thing about studio monitors just a quick they remove any uh, kind of processing that normal speakers do the next thing uh, is this monitor this is a gigabyte uh, 27 inch 1440p um, gaming monitor so this monitor, I don't really use it for, you know, work or productivity or stuff like that. I just use this monitor to game on. So we have over here 170 hertz. And I've tried to use the KVM setup before. I, the reason that I stopped using the KVM setup is that I just don't like, so I had my Mac over here and I just don't like it when you essentially have both systems hooked up. Um, specifically, I don't like the keyboard. The mechanical keyboard on the Max and the gaming mouse on the Max is uh, is a little bit weird. So this setup is just a purely gaming type setup. That takes me to the uh, keyboard here. I think this is the Logitech uh, G610. And you can kind of see that on the side. But yeah, it's a pretty cool keyboard. I've had this for a couple of years. I haven't had any issues with it. The thing that I like about this keyboard is the white backlight it looks really clean. So this is game mode. So when you click this, this is programmed to uh, be into game mode and when you click that off. Essentially what game mode does is um, when you have this on, you, you cannot press this Windows key. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of something cool that they put in. And then here's a way to control the backlight. Um, I don't want to get into this too much, but this is for sound um, and yeah, playback controls, stuff like that. Um, yeah, not a special keyboard. Uh, again, it's probably at the time cost around a hundred bucks. Uh, this is Logitech G610. This is the mouse. Um, this is the Razer Death Adder. I replaced this with my previous Death Adder, which is also, I think, uh, version two. Yeah, Razer Death Adder version 2. Yeah, it's a pretty nice mouse. I think it's up to 20k DPI. Uh, as you can see, the profile is not super ergonomic, but it's a pretty nice high-performance gaming mouse. Uh, next up is I just have a little um, Anchor 2-in-1 uh, charger. So it's got the MagSafe um, hooked up to USB-C on the other side and um, AirPods, charges the AirPods. Uh, yeah, the speakers I showed you guys before. I guess what I didn't show you guys is the monitor arm. So the monitor arm is a pretty straightforward one. Hide some of the cables in there. You can see I haven't done really a great job, but don't criticize the cable management right now. I've got some stuff coming in to help with that. I've got a cable showing over here too. But as I told you guys, this desk setup is a pretty raw one. You know, I haven't really spent any time uh, trying to clean things up. This is how I use the system. Uh, th this is not anything unrealistic. So th this is how I left it last time I used it. But yeah, this 
uh, is pretty much the controller that I use to game with. And um, it's a PS5 Galactic uh, purple controller. So uh, next up is the actual gaming PC. So if I can get in here, let's talk about the gaming PC for a little bit. Um, the main thing is this graphics card. This is a GeForce uh, RTX 3070 uh, by EVGA. It's a good mid-range graphics card. I've had it for two years. I think um, I bought it when there was a shortage on graphics cards. Uh, but there's been some controversy with EVGA, but I haven't had any issues with them. Um, you know, not that I've had to recall this graphics card, but uh, yeah. Next up, I got some RGB uh, DDR4 memory. I think uh, that's about 16 gigabytes. So uh, this case is a NZXT case. Uh, cool thing about it is um, yeah, it's got the fans you can see in the front. Uh, I think it was a cheap case, it was like around 100 bucks. Don't know if you can see up top, there should be some RGB lights inside the case that was built in. Um, okay, so as far as the CPU on this poorly managed, poorly cable managed system, I got the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. That's a six core processor. I don't really have a, a nice fancy fan on it, but okay. And then for the motherboard, I have a pretty basic uh, Gigabyte Aorus X570, uh, which has the Wi-Fi option, which is what that adapter up there is for, for the Wi-Fi. Okay, moving on to what I have going on down here. So you guys are probably curious, why do I have a sports ball or a workout ball over here under the desk? And the reason for that is I am big on ergonomics essentially use that to put my feet on. Yeah, so I've tried a couple of solutions. I've tried that small thing that you see in the corner that I stopped using. Um, but yeah, right now I am onto the sports ball. Essentially I prop my legs out when I'm gaming and I just lay back on the couch or on, on the chair, uh, essentially treating it like a couch. But yeah, speaking of this chair, um, it's a Helix uh, chair. I think I just got it on Staples. It has this back support some dog hair over there, but don't, uh, don't mind that. Yeah, um, that's the desk setup tour. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions about any of the um, accessories that I have. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, I have this mouse pad right here uh, that my girlfriend got me. It's a pretty nice mouse pad. Um, it's, you know, pretty smooth on the surface, so the mouse slides over, no problems. Uh, it's got a map of the world and I'm, I'm huge into maps and so she got me that um, so okay sometimes with this mouse pad there are some inconsistencies there are things that I haven't really figured out like there are these numbers on um, around some countries that I don't really know what that means yet so if you guys know please leave a comment down below I'll be very curious and that's it for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a kind of a practical take on desk tour slash desk setup videos. Um, again, as I said, like this is exactly how I left the system uh, last night and like probably for the past week. So I haven't really changed anything up to make it look super clean for the video. Uh, not everything is gonna be uh, super clean every single day. So um, yeah, uh, th that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did, um, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll be making more official type content, not vlog type content uh, in the future. So um, yeah, I'll see you next time guys.